Hello, hi guys, it's Inam here with my first unboxing for 2015 and we have the brand new HTC One M9. As ever, links will be down in the description box below if you're after one. And if you really want to read what's on the back of this box, you know the drill. Pause the video now. That's enough of the mumbo jumbo. Let's get this plastic sleeving off. There we go. And that's the HTC One M9 in gun metal grey. Let's get in here and get this lifted out and the tab here just doesn't want to go. There we go. The brand new HTC One M9. Now we'll leave this to one side for just one second just to see what else we get out of the box. Let's get the paperwork out of the way here. So we've got some HTC stickers and some branding, the nano SIM card tray eject tool, quick start guide, some warranty information, and some health and safety info for when you're bored. The same as a previous generation, HTC branding across the rear on these earbuds with red silicone tips and red bands across the jack. And of course, red button on the inline controls with the microphone there as well. You've also got a spare set of earbuds, standard data transfer and charging lead. And finally, we have the glossy HTC branded three pin UK power adapter. Now the output on this is rated at five volts, 1.5 amps. Enough of the mumbo jumbo, let's get to the device itself. So if we peel off the back here, we should be able to just slide out the device and here we go get rid of this sticky plastic and oh that does look nice it feels a little bit tackier than the m9 as i'm sure you've already heard so we've got the five inch super lcd3 capacitive touchscreen along the front here with full hd resolution and a pixel count of 441 pixels per inch. Getting ahead of myself here, back around the front, you've got those front facing dual boom sound speakers, which this time incorporate Dolby surround sound. Along the top right here, you've got the front facing four megapixel shooter, which incorporates ultra pixels and has a f-stop of 2.0. And you can see the sensors sandwich in between that and the speakers. Along the side, you can see the micro SD card slot tray towards the top with the pin to eject it just above it. Now hopefully the camera's picking up on this. The volume up and down buttons are two separate buttons which are completely smooth and the power button here does have a texture to it, kind of like a circular texture, so you should be able to feel for it if you're not directly looking at the handset. Along the rear you've got a 20 megapixel shooter with an f-stop of a 2.2. Capable of recording in ultra high definition video 4K covered with sapphire glass so you shouldn't be able to scratch that with a two-tone led flash next to it htc branding in the center a microphone towards the top left there underneath you've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack alongside a micro usb data transfer and charging port and nothing else down here along the left hand side here you've only got the nano sim card tray along the top with the pinhole to eject it just above and the standard ir blaster covering along the top of the unit and you'll notice this two-tone unibody design where there's a slight ridge as a device hits the second section of the screen here. Let's see what this device is actually running. So if you head on over into the settings, down to about device and software info, you can see Android Lollipop with HTC Sense 7 over the top of it. Now Sense 7 is snappy and smooth at the same time as you'd expect from a brand new out the box device with blink feed across the left here. And if you're not already aware, this device is rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 octa-core processor with three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage that can be expanded further via that micro SD card slot. Now the battery on this device is non-removable so you can't take out the back and that is rated at 2840 milliamp hours. And there we go ladies and gentlemen that's been the unboxing of the HTC One M9. As ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comments section down below there or hit me up on social media Twitter and Instagram at in Amka 4. I do post up a lot of photographs over on Instagram from bearing devices, so do check me out over there. If you found this video informative and helpful, do hit that thumbs up. And if you're new and you want to tag along, hit that subscribe button just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny, and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. 
have a wicked day and we'll see you next time